Thanks for tuning in to The Real Deal Show, brought to you by ebodyboarding.com and Tribe Boards. Tom loved love and Tom hated hate. I would like to challenge all of us to live like Tom. Ooh, I second that. Have fun. Push the limits in everything. Make this world a better place and live aloha. If we as Tom's boogie children spread the aloha spirit to everyone in our world, I believe Tom will be laughing in delight for eternity. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, Tom! Cheers, Tom! Small message. Make the world a better place by forgiving and lending a helping hand to those in need or not, and be an excellent, loving, supportive person. Try as hard as you can for the rest of your life. Hey everybody, good evening from ebodyboarding.com headquarters. I say evening because it is Sunday evening, the evening after the Tom Mori celebration of life that we did at T Street yesterday. I'm Jay Real. This is the Real Deal Show. And with me, as always, not as always, as no. sometimes, <laughs> is my beautiful wife, Hi. Vicki Real. How you doing, Vic? Good. Good. Oh, it's, I've got my pajamas on down here, so no one can By stop. the way, she was <laughs> falling asleep while I was setting up the sound equipment. That's um, how tired she is right now. <laughs> Um, because it took me a little while to oh, get good. things set up. So yeah. um, this show is basically going to be us talking about the event that went down yesterday. Now, I will say yesterday was International Bodyboard Day. Now, that if that decree was set forth by the Vintage Bodyboard Collectors guys, Damien Alexander in particular, Back in 2017, I believe, so four years ago, he decided, let's have an International Bodyboard Day. Yeah, why did he pick that day? Well, no. there was a reason, yeah. So there was a lot of discussion on the VBC about when to have it. And, you know, naturally, him being in Australia, summertime, the logical time, December, didn't work for people in the Northern Hemisphere because the water's freezing in some parts of the Northern Hemisphere. So the, the, the balance was finding a time of year that was neither too cold in the Northern Hemisphere um, or, you know, that, that was basically it. Because the Southern Hemisphere, I mean, I suppose down in Tasmania and Southern New Zealand, it's freezing. So try to pick a time of year that the temperatures weren't too extreme in any part of the world and it was decided that the first saturday in november would be that date because you can't really do it on a weekday so you can't set a specific date mm. uh, because people have to work and go to school and stuff so um, that was the beginning of international bodyboard day and you and i were fortunate enough to interview tom on international bodyboard day back in 2017 um, I'll drop the link up above here to that interview. I've dropped it in a prior show as well, but it bears repeating. It was a great show. We got to talk to Tom, and he did the boogie song, um, which was cool, which mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get to in a minute because there's a sort of a, a segue there to the boogie song. I'm talking too much. You're good at talking. I'm not, so <laughs> carry on. Put I'm a, here to support you. Yeah, put a <laughs> microphone in front of me. I'll yeah, never shut yeah. up. So... Um, in any case, as we all know, and, and I discussed in a previous show, uh, Tom passed away on October 14th, um, which at this point is now about three weeks ago from the date we're recording this show. Um, 
fortunately in July we had the 50th anniversary of the boogie celebration we had a great crowd down at our local spot T Street this time it was time to, to, to do something again to commemorate Tom so it was pretty much decided online on the VBC Facebook group and elsewhere that International Bodyboard Day would be the perfect date for everyone to celebrate Tom and have paddle outs. Paddle outs are a tradition in the wave riding world. Tell us what what you do at a paddle out. It's basically to honor and celebrate, you know, someone you've lost and the Hawaiian tradition is you paddle out and form a circle of honor, I think it's called. And, you know, you bring out flowers, bring out whatever you want to throw in the air and splash and, you know, basically cheers almost. It's kind of like a cheers, like, you know, we love you kind of celebration of life for someone, you know, that you lost recently. So super cool ceremony or um, way to send somebody off. So it was very special. Now, paddle outs are done a lot. Um, A lot of people have been celebrated in paddle outs, but... You know, Tom had people all around the world that were influenced by him and his invention of the boogie back in 1971. So bodyboarders really rallied behind this idea and paddle outs were planned all over the world. Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Saipan. Brazil. Brazil. North um, Shore. (laughs) Obviously here in the U.S., East Coast, West Mm -hmm. Coast. Even in Colorado, some of the guys that ride the river waves. They did? Yeah, they did one in in, uh, Dave's Wave, I think is the name Mm -hmm. of one of those waves on the rivers in Colorado. So, yeah, it wasn't just confined to coastal Mm -hmm. regions. Everybody wanted to celebrate Tom. And it wasn't confined to bodyboarders either. Tom was so well-respected in the wave riding community. I mean, even at our celebration of life, we held, you know, surfers and... Surfing magazine editors, Bob, Bob McNona, P.T. Townend, he couldn't make it towards the end, but just, you know, Tom hit a lot of people's hearts, you know, throughout the years, so. Yes, yeah. so, um, cool. you know, Vicky and I, we've, I've known Tom for almost 40 years, Tom and Marsha, his wife, and Vicky and I have been friends of theirs for a long time. They lived here in San Clemente for many years, and Tom would pop in, so, you know, being that we're, you know, we have a lot of connections in the bodyboarding world. I think it was decided, at least here between you and I, we really need to head up a big paddle out here in San Clemente. It's a, it's a great location geographically speaking here in Southern California, halfway between LA and San Diego. There's a lot of bodyboarders in this county, Orange County. Um, and of course, you know, our connection with Tom having him having lived here for a long time, we thought let's do it. So, and yeah. he's responsible for ebodyboarding.com. Well, yeah, not only that, but yeah. you and I meeting yes. and I mean, I wouldn't be here in California, nor mm-hmm. would you if we had never picked up a, a bodyboard. Mm-hmm. Like so, most of you out there. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. it's, it's this show, mm-hmm. the real deal show wouldn't, you know, the, every, mm-hmm decision I've made in my life since I started riding a bodyboard in 1979 has been dictated by my love of riding bodyboards in the ocean. So Mm -hmm. everything I have, you, my kids, our kids, our business, it's because of that. So Mm -hmm. anyway, I digress. So we decided let's let's have a little paddle out. We'll just announce, hey, we're going to have a paddle out on International Bodyboard Day at T Street, we just thought, okay, we'll set up our easy up tent, some people will show up, we'll just go out. It'll just be a real simple thing, right? But Mm -hmm. it didn't turn out that way, right? No, it grew and grew and people kind of came together and a local florist here said, you know, I'll bring some flowers and then, you know, a guy from the Orange County ukulele, is that where Tom is from? Well, yeah, it's a, u- yeah. It's a ukulele club here in, yeah. in uh, Orange County. And yep. he does a radio station. He has a radio show yeah. in Laguna Beach. But he put together the music that Tom wrote for the boogie song and ended up messaging Jay, and I don't know, you tell that side of it. Yeah, his name is Tom Joliet. Yeah. He's a former school teacher, retired now, and he... Um, he kind of, he's big in the ukulele world here in Orange County. And yeah, he reached out and said, you know what? I, you know, I want to contribute. 
I can play ukulele if and I've charted out the boogie song, which means he basically wrote down the chords and the words. And I said, perfect, I want to perform it, let's get together. So he and I hooked up and we worked on that song and one other song that I that we were told was one of Marsha's favorites. Mm -hmm. So that was my sort of contribution as well as posting lots of stuff to social media. And you had these folks with the flowers. Yeah, and Glenn from uh, Surfing Heritage here, he said, I've done some paddle outs and I actually know, um, you know, someone that can um, make lays. And then Claudia Ferrari in Hawaii, she said, I'll send you some kukui nut lays and shell lays. And then the Glenn said, oh, I know um, someone that could play bagpipes. And then Marsha said, yes, Duncan, he plays bar bagpipes. Let's have him come down. And then what about the Hawaiian Blessing? I know a guy that does a Hawaiian Blessing. And then the San Onofre yeah. Hawaiian Surfing Club. And it's like all these people and things kind of came together. Yeah. And it ended up being bigger than we could have ever imagined and so special and amazing. And, you know, we were honored to set it up for Tom and bring everyone together and yeah people uh, just stepped just, up you know yeah. like we didn't really have to um, dig around too much people kind of stepped forward and mm -hmm. said hey we want to honor Tom as well we want to contribute here's what we got to offer and people really just you know took the reins and offered their services or mm -hmm. whatever they could offer even the snack bar down at t street west toast cafe mm -hmm. which is awesome they have some new folks running it we said hey we need electricity down at the beach for the pa system and they said of course no problem happy to help happy to be involved the lifeguards so, said they'll bring yep. an extra lifeguards san clemente yep. city lifeguards called they wanted to make sure we were covered for the paddle out because there's a pretty solid swell on pumping, Saturday. Yes. So um, anyway, all of this happened in the space of about two weeks. We mm -hmm. planned this thing pretty quickly in the midst of, you know, our daily lives, working, running the business, dealing with our kids yeah. and all that stuff. And everybody really gelled together. And we um, were a little nervous because the day before, which was Friday, November 5th, was foggy. It was socked yes. in really thick fog. And the forecast was that it could be foggy again on Saturday. So I was really concerned just thinking, please don't let it just be super gnarly fog because we wanted to get photos and drone shots and everything else. So um, luckily we woke up Saturday morning, November 5th. A lot of things conspired to work in our favor. The fog had lifted. It was overcast, but not foggy. Nope, glassy. S glassy, mm -hmm. st offshore winds, pumping surf. Probably, this is crazy. It was like the best day I've seen at T Street in six I months. Yeah. I don't know. And it was firing out there, mm -hmm. which which was a little tough because I wanted <laughs> to be out there surfing in, in one respect. But all of that is, was put aside, right? Oh, because sure. we wanted to celebrate Tom mm -hmm. and um, Marsha, Maury, Tom's wife, and two of his sons, Soul and Moon, uh, were coming. And so we really felt like, hey, we want to put on a, a, a great show for them because they're, they're coming to our celebration here. And there's celebrations all around Southern California. They chose to come to ours. So we really wanted to do it right. Mm -hmm. um, so we were starting at 10 a.m., um, so we got there a couple hours early to set up. We set up the tents. We got the sound equipment set up. People just walked over and said, we're going to help you. Yes. They set Can up I the tent, this? the tables, I, yeah. set up the flowers. Mm -hmm. People were awesome. And we were trying to have conversations with people hard. we hadn't seen for a while, right? People were, you know, hey, Jay and Vicky, we I haven't, haven't seen, seen you, you forever. Yeah. And uh -huh. so, yeah, there was a little bit of that going on. And um, but fortunately, everybody pitched in, lend a hand, gave us um, a hand, bringing stuff down the stairs, setting and up, yep. setting up. So, um, thank you, everyone. Yes, yes, thank you to all of you <laughs> who not only helped but who showed up. Right? We had mm -hmm. probably, I think, about 150 people show yeah, up. Yeah, I'd say a little more, but maybe more. It's yeah, hard I, to tell. I don't know. We were too busy. <laughs> yeah, we were. Yeah, we we're you know busy, kind of yeah. making sure everything went to plan. So um, the day started out great. We uh, we got up, we said a few words. Tom, 
Tom's family got up and said some words as well, some really wonderful, inspirational stuff. Uh, then we moved on to, um, oh, it started with the Hawaiian blessing, the whole mm -hmm. thing. The blowing These of guys, the poo, the, the, also which called is, the conch. It's a big conch shell. Yeah, that um, was and they, you know, said beautiful. a prayer. It was awesome, man. It, you know, you just felt like you were in Hawaii, really, except mm -hmm. it, it wasn't hot and humid like Hawaii, but beautiful um, blessing. And then uh, I was able to do a couple songs. We'll link that at the top here. They were um, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll put a link as well to the whole proceedings, by the way. We, d we have basically a video Vicky edited that's on our YouTube channel now. Check the link at the top. It was top. a quick one last night. It's long. It's half hour, but you fast can forward some. zap yeah. through what you don't want to see. The end is cool. So. <laughs> okay. So yeah. we'll look forward to that. Yeah. So, um, and at the end of all of that, we got a big group shot with everybody on the beach. Everybody lined up in their wetsuits and their boards, and we took a big group shot, which you can see a lot of on our Facebook page. We've linked a lot of those albums that different people posted on our Facebook page, so check that out. Um, and then we did a paddle out, the, the classic paddle out that we mentioned earlier. Um, we had... Uh, that guy play Amazing Grace. What's his name Duncan. again? Duncan. Yeah. Duncan played Amazing Grace on, on the, the bagpipes. Bag Everybody paddled out, but the real surprise was somebody that paddled out with us that we didn't expect. Well, yeah, Marsha had this wetsuit, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" And she's like, "I'm I'm getting ready to paddle out." And I it was a zipperless wetsuit, so I'm like, "Let me help you." Uh -huh. So I'm struggling to put the help her get the suit on, and then I'm like, "What board are you ride?" And she's like, "This one, it's Mike Stewart board. It's one of the first boards I ever got." And she was rocking, oh, wow. and she, I'm like, "Do you have a leash?" She's like, "No." I'm like, "Here." Let me give you my leash. And then we get down to the water and she starts charging out. And I was like, okay, we're going, I guess. And the surf was like four to six it feet. Was. I had warned everyone in advance, like, hey, if you're if you're not up to bigger, a little bit bigger surf, maybe sit this one out from the beach. Not Marsha. <laughs> no, she, she wasn't having it. So she started charging out and a set came and I'm like, Marsha, set. And I was looking around and I saw Cameron Steele over there and I'm like, Cameron, Marsha, come out, Marsha. So Cameron paddled over and Marsha was duck diving. She was, I mean, she's late 70s, I think. She's <laughs> I a rock know. star. So she was duck diving, getting worked. We ended up waiting for the set to pass and then I'm like, go! <laughs> and Cameron grabs Marsha, pushing her and Marsha's paddling. And we make it out, fortunately, and you guys were in the honor circle already. And then yeah. here comes Marsha through the honor circle, and everyone's clapping. And oh, it was amazing. Just she is the first ever female bodyboarder. That's true. Yeah. She rode the first My boogie hero. when Tom first made it back in 71, and mm -hmm. she had soul in her belly. She was like eight months pregnant, she says. So That's amazing. <laughs> she's a legend. So. Yeah. I, you know, I was in the middle. I had paddled out before the crowd to kind of set up the, the spot. I wanted everyone to circle around me, and J.P. Patterson was going to be out there with me. So I'm there, and I'm, I think everyone's pretty much here. I could see Vicky almost there. I said, okay, I'm going to start, you know, talking. And I start talking, and somebody yells, oh, hey, wait, Marsha's coming. I, I was like, What? <laughs> Marsha's out Marsh here. Marsha's out it's here. Pumping. Oh my god. Your sets are coming in. Yeah. So JP and I are in the middle of the circle, and then Marsha makes it out. And uh, JP said a, a beautiful speech. He um, said a lot of great things. He actually brought his speech in a Ziploc bag and his reading glasses inside his wetsuit. With his Aloha shirt over his wetsuit. With his Aloha shirt <laughs> yeah. over the wetsuit. And uh, he gave a great speech. And then I I just said a few words after. JP and we were ready to kind of you know splash the water and give thanks and Marsha said no no I want to say some things so she got in there and she had a really beautiful inspirational yes, we'll speech have to play that for everybody it was short and sweet and perfect yeah and you know mm -hmm. who better to to say those words Same out in Tom that off, circle yeah. than mm -hmm. um, Tom's wife and. So after that, we threw the flowers into the circle. Everybody splashed water. We all cheered. 
as you do in those. We have some great drone shots again on our Facebook page. And then we all decided, I said, everyone get a party waving. And so, Marsha's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I'm like, Cameron, we have to get Marsha in so, without getting work. So now in the midst of this, above us, the clouds started clearing because it was late morning and the overcast was just beginning to break up. But right over top of us was like the first blue spot, which was really mystical. Mm -hmm. I'm not like one of these mystical superstitious people but that was pretty freaky and cool um, and so we're all paddling in to get the to, to get the uh, the party wave in and the set comes it was a cranking set <laughs> and Cameron said and so yeah. I I mean there was a couple <laughs> waves so I was at the at the front of the pack so me and about eight or nine people caught the first one and you guys were on the one behind what happened there no cameron goes marcia you want to get this one and she's like yeah i think i can get it <laughs> totally cameron keen. starts pushing her i put my arm around her because i'm like she's gonna nosedive she's gonna pearl and it's not gonna be good so she takes off she's paddling her heart out i push down on her butt because i'm like she can't nosedive push down on her butt i've got a gopro in my mouth because and i got all i'm um, on my GoPro, which showed the pure stoke on her face, catching that wave and making it to shore. And oh my gosh, Marsha, you're a legend. Yeah. It was incredible. So she rides up on the beach and, you know, mm -hmm. she's got the fins on. So we, you know, we sort of guide her up to the dry sand <laughs> so she can get her fins off. I don't know when the last time she went bodyboarding was, but <laughs> it looked like she had just been out the day before. <laughs> like she didn't miss a beat, right? No? So. Uh -uh. So we get her up on the sand and, uh, you know, everybody's high-fiving and super stoked. We did that, you know, the, the circle and the, we all caught the party waves in. And so the, the next hour consisted of everybody sort of saying their goodbyes and, you know, high-fiving, maybe catching up a little bit more. And, you know, then we, we packed it all up and the sun was coming out as we were leaving. It was mm -hmm. just the perfect morning we we saw friends of ours that we hadn't seen for so many years and some that we see every single day but all of us are interconnected by bodyboarding and tom is to thank for that of course mm -hmm. he invented the bodyboard 50 years ago no idea i'm sure that it would lead to becoming the most popular wave riding vehicle on the planet and probably introduce more people to the ocean than anything ever right mm -hmm. i i can only imagine because you know you look at anyone who lives near the coast has at least a couple of bodyboards in their garage yeah. everyone's and, gone boogie boarding oh yeah <laughs> it's just you know it's the yeah. entry level mm -hmm. way to get into the water and of course as we all know it doesn't have to just be entry level think of it like riding a bike right anyone can hop on a bike and ride it but there's people that take it to the next level. They're flying off cliffs on bikes and riding half pipes on bikes. So it's bodyboarding is the same way, right? First crack, you can be catching and riding a wave, but if you want to take it to another level and do crazy stuff mm -hmm. in the ocean, and you can do that too. most surfers start out on a bodyboard. Yeah, a lot yeah. of them do. <laughs> you know, the, the list is long. So yes. um, so anyway, it was, a, it was a perfect day. We're so blessed to have been able to organize that event and have so many people show up and assist us. And, um, you know, it's one of the, for the record books. And hopefully, Tom, if you're looking down on us from up above, that you are appreciative and happy that we did a good job to mm -hmm. remember you, right? I think that's the, think we, the, the message yeah, it there. It is, yep. So there is uh, 2017 International Bodyboard Day, by the way. When um, Vicky and I got to talk to Tom, and I, and I linked that uh, interview earlier on. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much what we wanted to convey here with this Real Deal show. Just tell about our story of the day, and it was an awesome day. And um, I think that's about it, right? Anything yeah, else? Any see final next words? Year. I mean, it's yeah, it seems International like Bodyboarding yeah. Day next year. Who knows what's going to happen? That's but it. Yeah. Um, what a crazy year 2021 has been for bodyboarding. And mm -hmm. folks, I think I'm going to wrap it up on that note. Thank you so much for watching The Real Deal Show yet again. Thanks. You're going to stop talking? You don't yeah. want to. <laughs> I'm tired, <laughs> Do you want to sing a song? 
No, I already sang. I, I linked know. it earlier okay. the boogie song. Um, but I will maybe in the next show. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a little mini concert. Um, so that'll do it for this episode of The Real Deal Show. We'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube, um, we've thrown a few clips in here and there. I apologize to those of you listening as a podcast. You don't get the visual. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this show. If you are watching on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the like button. Throw some comments in down below. And uh, that will keep us um, producing more and more Real Deal shows, right? Yeah. Right, that will do it. So, folks, as always, see you in the surf. Oh Marsha, come in here! Oh boy, oh boy. 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 Oh boy